Hi, this is Yi from Web Hosting Break, and today I'm going to review the WordPress theme structure made by Organic Themes. Now, structure theme, um, there is the paid premium version, however, today I'm just going to review the free version. Uh, currently, I'm on the structure theme demo page, which you can uh, check out at structuretheme.com forward slash demo. And as you can see, the theme itself, it's very structured, as the name suggests. It's very clean, crisp, and easy to navigate. Uh, it's great if you're going to include, um, I guess, featured images in your post as they're shown on the front page. But also, the great thing about this is that you can actually mark an article to be a featured article. And what happens there is that the title of the featured article and also the featured image would appear at the front on the top, giving this theme a very distinct look. And on the right hand side here, you can customize the widgets. And scrolling down to the main body, it is a three column theme. However, if you click into an article, it becomes a two column one. Now, if you're going to include a lot of information at the bottom, uh, you'll be happy to know that this theme also offers a four column footer. So you can have a lot of links, more information, and also the copyright information too. And all this is done through the back end on the widgets page which I will show you shortly. Um, so I've just set up um, a blog and here's the back end. And I'm just in appearances, theme options. And um, what's great is uh, it doesn't bombard you with too much options. So you can set this theme up quite easily and quite quickly as well. Now, if you just have a look at the feature category, this is what I was talking about for the front page. Now what happens is you select a category to be a featured category and the best way to set this up I found was to actually have a category called featured. What happens then is with your post, um, the most recent one that's been being marked as featured in the categories would appear on the front page. So as you can see the most recent post here um, is what I wrote about the Grand Green URS project. And on the front page, this is what it looks like. And if I didn't like that, I can go into the post, unmark it, so I'll just unmark the category called Featured. And so what happens then is that the next most recent post that has been marked as Featured would appear on the front page. So if we reload the blog, I think it, it was something I wrote about bike riding. Yes, here you go. Okay, so that's very easy. And if you go back to theme options, um, as you can see at the top, uh, you have the social media icons. So in this case, I've only put in the Twitter URL. I haven't put in the Facebook one. But if you do, um, you get the Facebook icon, which looks like this. And another thing is the colour scheme. Uh, the default one is to have it on a white background. Nevertheless, if you just click this, save options, it does um, change it into, um, I guess, a darker colour scheme with a black background. So let's just reload this and see what it looks like. So there you go. So if we go to the demo and have a look what it looks like when things black. Yeah, so that was quite easy to do. And of course, if you don't like neither the black or the white, then you can go into background and actually upload a customized image yourself. And it can also customize the header, which is what I've done um, with this blog. Okay, so now I'm going to go into the widgets area. And again, it's very simple. It's drag and drop. And you have the right hand side, the left hand side, um, the sidebar, which is, well, which are these two here. Then you have the home page top right, which is at the top here. And of course, you have the four column footer, which I haven't really customized that much for mine. So there you go. So if I go back to the demo and change it back to white, um, so as you can see, the structure theme made by Organic Themes, um, it's 
very easy to set up. It's very neat and it has a very distinct look as well. Um, so it offers you a lot of uh, customized features that's easy to set up. And it's great if you're looking for something that's a bit different as well. So yeah, well that's my review for today. Uh, let me know what you think of it. Go play around with it at structuretheme.com forward slash demo. Uh, we'd love to hear your feedback and comments. And um, yeah, if you have any suggestion for future themes to review, let us know. Cheers.